accidentally spilled Pepsi on my goddamn book of keys and it does this now. I guess there's like water in there or something. Fuck. And so I'm gonna take it apart and might as well show you that proper thing we do. We'll unscrew these screws. So it looks like the way you open it up is you get the top open and then there are these like little ledges. And maybe we could, you can stick this under here, it slides out somehow. I don't know what's keeping it. Oh, there's fucking one more screw, that's why. There we go. So this is what the inside looks like. Temple machine. It's kind of cool. You can see all of the uh, potentiometers in there. VCOs. Well, I guess the ground is running to this. Nice. Now I'm gonna fix what was wrong when you drop soda on it. Is this is what I gotta deal with, what's all wet. Okay. I'm now going to take off uh, this and clean it with uh, this guy. All of the different sized, sized screws in this little box. So now I'm taking out the very last screw on this. Let's see what's under the board. Oh, that didn't do anything. Uh, hmm, probably gonna have to take some Jimmy in. Because I guess they are just the VCOs. Oh, that means I'm gonna have to take off all the fucking knobs. Damn it. Alright, the grand unveiling. Waterlogged. Oh yeah, you can see the water on it. Uh. The camera died while I was doing some of the nitty gritty, but this is what the Volca keys looks like separated. This was wet because I dropped Pepsi on it.
I don't know if it would even matter if, if they were too tight. Like, what would like that even mean? It should go by pretty quick. Much the same sized. Yeah, all the ones on this plate are the same size. It seems like they have these. Where it says load three. Now these screws right here hold this uh, brass plate in place and they actually require a nut and a bolt. These guys. So many little, whatever the fuck you call those things in there, thousands. You see those are kind of cool looking. Here we have the, uh, oh, here we have the VCOs. Now, unfortunately for me, I put on the, the clear screen of the wrong direction. These four screws all have a little gasket on them. This one and noticed that there's a glimmer like you can see that kind of shine as if there was right there as if there was something in the way that was the glass so the glass must not be in there correctly all right I undid all of the screws and now we're going to see if it did any actual damage scratch right in between their holes that um, they should be going through. Yeah, those definitely probably got bent, but that doesn't matter. So, let's give it a second go. So now it's sitting a lot more nicely and also, these are the, uh, this is the play, record, memory, and function buttons. So, let's give it a second go. Of all the dumbasses in the world, I might be the dumbest. I forgot to put on this strip when I was screwing those things in. It goes right here. So I have to redo the whole thing. So I have put the two silver screws back on, put most of these screws back on, and I'm going to finish this baby for you. And then hopefully it'll work. I'm either being way too careful about this, or I am terrible at everything. Because I am using these cotton swabs to like make sure that like, like this speck of dust, it should not be there. I will remove it. 
putting in the last screws. Damn, that's like 12 gunshots. That's a lot of gunshots. Yep. They're at the police sirens. In case I electrocute myself, this is the way I spent my last moments fixing this machine. stoked that I did that, that I fixed that. I'm so happy. I'm unhappy that someone died while I was doing it, but I'm happy that it's fixed. Love you guys.